Just occasionally a column should be a two-way thing. The small distraction I provide from rage and sorrow every week, I provide without expectation of reciprocity. A job's a job. But today I'm the one in need of help. Help me, somebody. How do you juice? But don't rush to answer until you've fully grasped the question. I have the necessary equipment. I have more gadgets for juicing than anyone I know who doesn't own a juice factory. Mixers, masticators, macerators, extractors, blenders, squeezers, juicerators, pressers, citrus reamers, you name them, I have them. Loose me into a kitchen shop and I buy a machine for juicing. Perhaps it's the word, juice. I think I must hear the secret of life itself in it. Every year at about this time, I begin to emerge from a personal winter of extreme catarrhal discontent and experience a deep longing for juice. It could be atavistic. Long ago in the primeval swamp, my ancestors either survived on citrus fruits or were citrus fruits. I don't know how other people retrieve their blenders from the cupboards in which they've been stored all winter, but I do it sideways and blind, relying on feel rather than visual recognition. I found what I was after eventually, but cut my finger on the rotary blade, which I'm always at pains to remove from the machine itself when I put it away, mindful that the majority of fatalities take place in the kitchen. Now, I'm not one to complain of injury. Broken nail, grazed knuckle, paper cut, I bear them all with equanimity. But the juice of lime stings a cut finger beyond endurance. The juice of orange, ditto. And I am messy with an orange, never having mastered that rococo single movement peel of which our grandmothers were capable. My way is to squeeze the orange with one hand and then to make lunges at it with the other, not unlike Jack Nicholson hacking at the bathroom door in The Shining. Why I don't simply call that juicing, suck my fingers and have done, I cannot explain. I must like the mechanical process more. By this time anyway, it was necessary for me to wash the citrus out of my stinging cut and apply plasters to it. One to go round the finger left to right, the second to go over the top and secure the first, and the third to go round the finger right to left to secure the second. How the first plaster got into the blender, I am again unable to explain. But in seeking to extract it, I accidentally pushed a button named Pulse, a button which until now I'd never seen the purpose of unless you were meant to feel it to check whether you were still alive. In the confusion caused by this sudden throbbing, I failed to secure the lid on the blender, as a consequence of which enough juice for a small kindergarten erupted volcanically some of it landing on the kitchen ceiling, some of it landing on my wife's cookery books, but most of it landing on me. Except that you couldn't by any stretch of the imagination call this juice. Juice runs, juice flows. This moved, since we are talking horror films, like the blob. These are mere interim questions, but why was this more like soup or puree than juice? Why, though it had two whole witch twists of ginger in it, didn't it taste remotely of ginger? And whatever it tasted of and looked like, would you, reader, consider it permissible, hygienically and from a culinary point of view, to soak up the spillage with a sponge, squeeze it back into the blender and serve it to your wife, pretending nothing had happened? <laughs>